Today's challenges in oncology can only be turned into opportunities by responding questions such as, how do we more rapidly integrate innovation into patient care? We must also define what optimal cancer care really is. ESMO 2018 is also about integration. We need to communicate with our fellow caregivers and colleagues from all other specialties. We also believe one of our key points is multi-professional teamwork. Cancer care is so complex today, so we need uh, lots of skills and competences and we work, need to work together, the different professions, and also together and partner with patients and their significant others uh, to be able to deliver highest possible quality of care. My journey to a cancer-fighting career is a very personal one. I was only 13 years old when my little sister, Marisabel, was diagnosed with acute leukemia. And during the three years of her therapy, I was very frustrated by the devastating side effects of the therapy. And in one way, translational research is a circle, going from the patient or the clinic uh, back to the patient and back to the clinic. I think if you think about and take analogies from viral illnesses, for example, how we treat HIV today, and ask where are we with EGFR immune lung cancer, we have the best reverse transcriptase inhibitor around. But we have the single agent, we do not have combinations. And as all of you know, treating viral illnesses or complex bacterial infections requires combination therapy. Please. And so, needless to say, it's a, an enormous privilege for me to not only be a woman in this vibrant field, but also to be in a position to help support the careers of women in oncology. So overall, we have done plenty in the past 10 years. But the question is that in this past 10 years, what have we learned? The thing I learned in the past is the fact that it's really my duty to create hope for the patient.